it's been so long since I have seen Mama Chicken and Little Chick this happy. How cute! Hello, little friend. I'm glad you're back. Thanks to you, the little chick is safe and back with her Mama Chicken. She wouldn't have reached home without your help. I'm so proud of you. But something just struck my mind all of a sudden. The game still looks a bit easy, wasn't? Let's do something more challenging than just adding a maze. I have got an idea. What about animating the little chick in such a way that if she touches any of the lines in the maze, the game restarts and she returns back to her initial position? Well, this is definitely going to be challenging and fun. In today's session, we will be animating the little chick and then add the cover page and end page to our game. Sounds interesting? Let's begin right away. First, let's open Scratch Junior. Click on the home icon and then click on the project we worked on throughout the previous sessions. Click on the full screen icon on top of the stage to view the project in full screen. Now click on the green flag. Tommy barks and says he will catch the little chick. And we can see the little chick crying out for help. Let's move the little chick through the maze. Click on the arrow keys on the top left side. Let's help her escape Tommy, the barking dog. Finally, she reaches Mama Chicken and the Mama Chicken thanks us for saving her chick. Well done little friend. Now, click on the stop icon to stop the animation. To exit full screen mode, click on the exit full screen icon on the top left corner of the screen. Then, click on the reset characters icon to bring back the characters to their initial positions. Tommy cannot move through the maze. It's the only little chick who can. But the game is still not challenging. So now, we need to animate the little chick in such a way that if she touches any of the lines in the maze, the game restarts and she returns back to her initial position. First, click on the character box of the little chick. Click on the yellow triggering block and click on the third block. Start on the bump block. Drag and place it to the workspace. Then click on the blue motion block and click on the eighth block. Go to the home block. Drag and place it on the workspace. Finally, click on the red end block and click on the first block, end block. Drag and place it on the workspace. Let's move the little chick and see what happens. Click on the right arrow key to move the little chick right towards the maze. See? The little chick touches a line on the maze and moves back to her initial position. The little chick does not know that it is dangerous to touch the lines in the maze. So, the mama chicken should warn her about the maze. For that, Click on the character box of the Mama Chicken. Mama Chicken should warn her little chick before she enters the maze. So, click on the yellow triggering block and click on the first block. Start on green flag block. Drag and place it on the workspace. Click on the orange control block and click on the first block, wait block. Drag and place it on the workspace. Click on 10 and change it to 95 by using the number pad to the right of the workspace. Next, for the mama chicken to warn the little chick, click on the purple looks block and then click on the first block, say block. Drag and place it on the workspace. Click on high, delete high using the backspace key or delete key in your keyboard and then type be careful. Click anywhere on the workspace. To type the rest of the warning, click on the Say block from the already selected Looks block. Drag and place it on the workspace. Click on High and type Do not touch the fence. 
click anywhere on the screen. Mama Chicken is not finished yet. Click on the say block once again and drag and place it on the workspace. Click on hi and type then the game will restart. Finally, click anywhere on the workspace. The mama chicken is all set to warn the little chick. Let's watch what we created. Click on the green flag icon on top of the stage. Tommy starts to bark. Little chick cries out for help and yes, the mama chicken wants the little chick to be careful. Yay! Now, click on the stop icon to stop the animation and then click on the reset characters icon to bring the characters back to their initial positions. Our game page is finally complete. But for the whole game to look and feel complete, we need to add a cover page and an end page. Let's create a cover page first. Click on the plus sign on the right to create a new page. The cover page of the game should come before the game page. So click and drag the second page box and place it above the first page box. So we have interchanged the positions of the pages. Click and hold on tick and click on the cross mark to remove the character tick. Now let's start to create the cover page. Click on the background icon on top of the stage to open the backgrounds available on Scratch Junior. Let's click on the same farm background. Click on the tick button. Our background is set. Let's add a title for the game. Click on the text tool. Type the title as find the way. To change the size of the text, click on the text size icon and click on the fifth text size. To change the color of the text, click on the text color icon and then click on the white color. Click anywhere on the stage. Let's place the title here. Next, we need to add the subtitle to the cover screen. Click on the text icon on top of the stage. Type the subtitle as Help the little chick reach home. To change the text size, click on the text size icon and click on the second text size. To change the text color, click on the text color icon and then click on the yellow color. Click anywhere on the stage. Now, let's place the subtitle right below the main title. Next, we need to add a play button to the cow page to move to the game page. Click on the plus sign to the left to open the character list. Since a play button character is not available on Scratch Junior, Click on the blank character and then click on the paintbrush tool. The shape of a play button is a triangle. So click on the triangle shape on the left. Click on the bright red color from the colors available. Then click and drag on the canvas to draw a triangle. To fill in the color inside the triangle, click on the fill color icon. Since the bright red color is already selected, click inside the triangle to fill the color. Our button should point towards the right. So we need to rotate the triangle. Click on the rotate icon on the right. Click on the triangle and drag towards the left to make the triangle point towards the right. As the final step, let's change the name of the character. Click on the white text box and delete the text character using the backspace key or delete key on your keyboard. Now type the character name as play. Finally click on the tick button and let's place the play button right here below the subtitle. When we click on the play button we should move to the game page. For that we need to animate the play button. Click on the character box of the play button and then click on the yellow triggering block. Click on the second block. Tap on block and drag and place it on the workspace. Next, click on the end block and then click on the third block. Go to page 2 block. Drag and place it on the workspace. Our cover page is also set. What is left to be created? Yes, 
our end page. Click on the plus sign on the right to create a new page. Before we move on to decorate the end page, we need to add bit more modifications in the second page, the game page. I assume you already know what it is. We should move on to the end page automatically. When the little chick reaches her mama chick and the mama chick finishes thanking us. So, we need to add animation to the mama chick who is the last character to talk in the game page. Click on the second page box. We have to move to the end page right after mama chicken says thank you. So, click on the red end block and click on the fourth block. Go to page 3 block. Here, we need to drag and place the go to page 3 block right next to the save block with the text thank you for saving my little chick which we created in the previous session. So, drag and place the go to page 3 block right here. So, our animation to move to the end page is also done. Now, click on the third page box to create the end page. Click and hold on the tick character and click on the cross mark to remove tick. Let's select the background for the end page. Click on the background icon on top of the stage to select a background. Click on the farm background and click on the tick button. Our background is set. Let's click on the text icon to add a text to the background. Type you win in the white text box. To change the size of the text, click on the text size icon and click on the fourth text size. Now, to change the color of the text, click on the text color icon and click on the yellow color. Click anywhere on the stage and place the U win in the middle of the background. We need to add a play again button to the end page. Since a play again button is not available on Scratch Junior, we need to create one. Click on the plus sign to the left to open the character list. Click on the blank background and then click on the paintbrush tool. A play again button is similar to a play button. The only difference is that the play again button is placed inside a circle. So first, click on the circle shape on the left and click on the dark green color from the colors available. Click and drag on the canvas to draw a circle. Click on the fill color icon to fill color inside the circle. Since the green color is already selected, just click inside the circle. Next, we need to draw the triangle inside the circle. Click on the triangle shape on the left and then click to change the color of the triangle. Click on the bright red color from the colors available. Now, click and drag inside the circle we drew. Click on the fill color icon to fill the color inside the triangle. Since the bright red color is already selected, click inside the triangle. Now, to rotate the triangle such that it points towards the right, click on the rotate icon on the right. Click on the triangle and drag it towards the left. Then, click on the move tool and move the triangle to the center of the circle. Ta-da! Our play again button is almost complete. Now, click on the white text box to change the character name. Type the character name as play again. Click on the tick button and let's place the play again button right below the U win text towards the right. As a final touch, we need to add a play again title right beside the play again button. So, Click on the text icon on top of the stage and type play again on the text box. To change the size of the text, click on the text size icon and let's click on the second text size. To change the color of the text, click on the text color icon and click on the white color. Click anywhere on the stage and place the play again text to the left of the play again button. Now. We need to animate the play again button such that when we click on it, we will be taken back to the game page. Click on the yellow triggering block and click on the second block, start on tap block, drag and place it on the workspace. Now, click on the end block and click on the fourth block. 
go to page 2 block drag and place it on the workspace our animation is done and finally our end page is also complete let's watch the whole game in full screen mode i am pretty much excited to see the brilliant work we have done first click on the first page box and then click on the full screen icon on top of the stage ta da here we can see the cover page of our game there's the title and the subtitle and also the play button click on the play button and wow we are taken to the game page tommy is barking and the little chick is crying out for help mama chicken is warning her to be careful to not touch the lines in the maze let's rescue the little chick by clicking the arrow keys Oh no. Our little chick has touched the line and is now back to the initial position. This time, let's be careful not to make our little chick touch any of the lines in the maze. As you know, slow and steady wins the race. So stay focused and calm and let's help the little chick escape from hungry Tommy and reach her mama chicken. Hooray! We helped the little chick. Mama chick is thanking us for the great effort we put in. But our little chick goes back to the initial position. Well, don't you remember the go to home block we used while animating the little chick? Though the little chick has reached her mama chicken, she comes back to the initial position. Since we added the go to home block in the workspace of the little chick, and wow we are taken to the end page let's click on the play again button and see what happens ta da we are taken back to the game page i am so happy with the work you have done you did a great job there is one more step left for us to complete we need to save the project for that click on the stop icon on the top right corner of the screen Now let's exit the full screen mode. Click on the exit full screen icon on the top left corner of the screen. Now click on the reset icon to bring back the characters to their initial positions. Click on the yellow icon towards the top right corner of the screen. Type the title of the project as Find the way. Click on the tick button and then click on the home icon to save the project. Wow. Here we can see the project find the way we created throughout these sessions. Kudos little friends. Our game is all set and it looks interesting. We created a game page by adding a background and adding the main characters, the little chick, mama chicken and the dog Tommy. Then we added the barn and then added the arrow keys to move the little chick. To make the game more challenging, we added the maze. We then added thrilling conversations between Tommy, the little chick, and the mama chicken. We made the game extra challenging by adding animations to the little chick. We finally added a cover page and an end page to the game. Wasn't it fun? I definitely enjoyed it. Didn't you? I'm sure you would have. Stay connected with Scratch Junior for much more fun sessions. Until then, bye.